So Eli was born at 38 weeks. The pregnancy was just spot on perfect. Everything was going great. When he was born, he never took that first breath and he needed to be resuscitated and transferred up to the Royal Hospital for Women at Randwick. Jen clicked on and said, why can't I hear my baby cry? And that's when I looked across the room and saw the doctors just in panic mode. He wasn't breathing and we're running out of the room and the obstetrician said, stop, mum needs to see her baby. And they said, no. They didn't know what was going on, but they've just said things aren't improving. Prepare yourselves that this could be it. So three days of age, we, we said our goodbyes, told him that we loved him. It was just like being hit by a bus, telling us that here we are, we have this child that's already sick with breathing difficulties. He has to breathe through a tracheostomy. Um, but now he has cancer, or he might have cancer. And so uh, a few days later, Dr. Lau came and spoke to us again and formally diagnosed that he had neuroblastoma. There's not a very high survival rate. We're told there's about a 40% survival rate and our world's just come crashing down. It was just the hardest thing to ever be told. I think it was the next day or the day after that Eli started on chemotherapy, watching them pump poison into his body and just seeing how sick that he got. He was just so little. Eli's still a very sick boy. The side effects that he still has today from that chemotherapy, he's still so sick. And on average, I'm getting up 10 to 12 times a night to care for Eli, to suction the moisture off his chest from these chest infections. If I don't wake up to Eli struggling to breathe, it's an apnea monitor that wakes me to tell me that Eli stopped breathing. And I've got to get out of bed as quickly as I can to get that moisture off his, his chest, out of his throat, so he can breathe again. That happens 10 to 12 times every night. Even after he's breathing again and he goes back to sleep, I then lay awake thinking, is it going to happen again? Next time it happens, am I going to be able to get him to breathe again? I was breaking down, poor Jen was breaking down. I reached out to Camp Quality just to, to let them know how much we're suffering because we weren't coping at all. We were falling apart as a family unit. And we were just at our wits end. Um, my husband Peter reached out and we're, we were lucky enough to go to a retreat for a week where it was a beautiful house on the water it had everything that we needed and it provided us with some family time. It was life changing in the sense that we got rest, we got activities, we got to see the kids happy, we played, it was wonderful.
I feel that the general population doesn't know how hard it is to have a child with cancer. It affects you in a lot of ways through different moods and teariness and you know you, it's a roller coaster of emotions but I, I truly believe that unless you've been through this journey you, you cannot understand what that person's going through. I'm looking forward to family camp just so my kids can just be kids to have activities to reconnect with other children and just have fun. The thing that I'm most looking forward to at family camp is just having some time off with my family and just having fun, but also to meeting other families that have walked our footsteps, that get what we're going through, that understand where we've been and where we're heading. Fun is so important for kids that have faced cancer because they've missed out on opportunities that if they had a normal sibling or an, if they were well, that they would have received anyway. They've been through the hard slog and they deserve just to have some fun and enjoy themselves. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Can you come to Dad? Hi, darling. When people donate to Camp Quality, it means that Families like us get the well-deserved break to see our children happy, to see our family happy to reconnect. Just to have that time together as a family. To have my little boy there with me. It's just going to be the most special time in the world. Yes, darling. I do love you. Mm -hmm.